What is going on lads? It is the Midnight Kid and welcome to the Classic V2 option file tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to install Classic V2. Huge work put in for from the boys so make sure and check them out in the link in the description below for all their social feeds and their tags and stuff like that. So it is recommended that you do a fresh install on any of the Classic option files and obviously V2 is no different. It is a huge update to V1. So we're going to go ahead and delete our edit data. Now, it is recommended also, if you want to keep your main option file with your Bundesliga and stuff, it is recommended to use a different profile. You can see I'm in my secondary profile here. But we're just going to load up, fresh install it. As you can see, there is the PU League. Now, this is the Bundesliga in the main option file, but it is the classic option file here. Uh, it is one of the first leagues. But this in V2, in this new league, we're going to have the PAS League as a classic Premier League. So it's going to be 16 teams, 17 teams, I think, including Leicester, who was a late addition, obviously. And uh, we're going to crack on. So again, I've gone over this in countless countless tutorials so far if i am going too fast then apologies but it is pretty simple if you have watched any tutorial an error message like this can pop up i know a lot of people will ask questions sometimes it does pop up and it will say unable to export or unable to import all you got to do is go back in and load it up and uh, put it back in it is it is what it is it's just edit mode i mean it's not it's not got to do with the option file per se so again click the apply player and squad data box and then you are going in to make yourself a cup of tea get a couple of biscuits and wait about five or six minutes until it's loaded so we're going to speed the process up now obviously with v1 you had one league in v2 you're going to have two leagues that is why it is recommended to do a fresh install as it is with any option file when you're installing are important from v1 to v2 so we're going to go back out there and just save that obviously as we do when we install or import any new images just always save it just in case and then we're going to go back up and we're going to have a quick look and show you what is going to happen. Now, obviously, because Konami added in the last data pack, they added two new leagues. They added the Chinese league and they added the Thai league. That has kind of thrown things out a bit. So you're going to have to do a little bit of maneuvering if you want the V2 to be as we intended it to be. So as you can see, all the teams here are in the other Asian League. The Classic Premier League is going to have to be moved manually. Now, don't worry, we're going to show you how to do it. It is very simple. It just takes maybe about 60 seconds to 90 seconds of your time. As you can see here, we're going to go down to competition details. Competition structure is next, obviously. And we're going to go down all the way down to the PAS League. Now this is the PAS League that we are going to be turning into our Premier League, our classic Premier League. Now for you guys, all you have to do is import the actual competition details. But it's not going to drag in the way the teams are structured. So it's not going to drag in, you know, Arsenal being at the top and Wimbledon being at the bottom. You know what I mean? It's not going to put them in A to Z alphabetical order. And of course, when you do the live update, as with the main option file, it's not going to work either. So as you can see from here, something in my mouth as you can see from here we're going to be in importing this manually but when you guys are doing it you're just going to be clicking to import the competition but i'm just going to show you kind of what we do before we export it for anybody that is wondering because it's pretty simple but you can do all this you're going to have to do all the details yourself now as i said this does import when you are importing the competition details so you know it doesn't make a difference whether you do this manually or if you do it by importing the competition details the same as you import the main option file but if you want to do it yourself you can change it to whatever you want to change it to if you don't want to call it the classic uh premier league or you just want to call it whatever you want to call it premier league classic you want it all caps you want whatever this is actually how you change it because a lot of people ask or oh, can we change the name of this? Can we change the emblem of this? This is how you do it. So I suppose I haven't covered it in any other tutorial. And plus Ali obviously wanted me to cover this as well. Um, you know, just to kind of show people that you can change it, that you're not locked to the competition names, you're not locked to the competition emblem. So you can actually, you know, mix and match whatever way you want to do it. If you want to make your own classic logo and put it in, you can. If you want to make, you know, your own competition name up, you can. So we're just going to go through that and uh, we'll be kicking back in with the rest of the structure when we do that and as you can see there we've got the FA Cup we've got the Premier League logos everything is in and it looks pretty decent we've got the Community Shield also as well as all the detailed settings now to reiterate this will be done when you import the competition as normal I'm just showing you if you want to change it or adapt it yourself because it has come in a lot of people are asking that question so once we have that done we're going to navigate back down to competition structure now this is again something you might have seen in the main option file tutorials where you 
you know, decrease the draw size for the Bundesliga. For this, we're going to have the classic Premier League. We're going to put it down to 16 teams. Um, now, the reason for this is you're going to see in a couple of minutes and I'll explain it to you. But the reason for this is because we have so many classic teams in it now and because Konami have changed uh, the licensed teams, they've added the Chinese League and they've also added the Thai League. It has thrown out where the classic teams actually go in. Um, and we don't want duplicates. We don't want you know squads not being fully decked out with the players dragged from this way and that way. I'll explain a bit about that in a future video. But for this, you're going to have to do this manually. You're going to have to switch the classic Premier League manually over from the other clubs in Asia, which is where it's actually important. Uh, and you're going to be putting it over to the actual classic Premier League league that you have just set up. So this is the league that you have already put in your emblem your competition name, whatever that you want. Now, as I said, and I'll probably be asked in the comments to just infuriate me, but um, yeah, as I've said, right, the competition, when you're importing the competition, you can just go to import competition and import competition details as normal. The reason I showed that was because people do be asking, oh, can we change this? Can we do this? Can we do that? That's how you do it. You should know from any of the other tutorials, literally I've done about four or five tutorials where you import competition details. It's simple. You just go to import competition, you click on the files and you put them in. You don't need to take any boxes. So this is it pretty much at the end. I'm going to show you what it should look like. Um, but I'm just going to go through this fairly quick and show you what exactly it should look like at the end. So that's pretty much it there in the competition structure. And of course, we've also got to do the same for the second league. So the second league that we've done, so that's the Premier League there. It's the classic Premier League with all the teams, with all everything in perfect. As you can see, all the squads look perfect and so on and so on and so on. So now next up is going to be the teams from Classic V1. So in Classic V1, we had Real Madrid, we had AC Milan, we had Juventus, we had Celtic and Rangers. So for this with V2, these have been completely overhauled, loads of tweaks to the kits, loads of tweaks to the players, added a load of legend faces such as Adriano to Inter Milan, um, Vieira, a load of players like that. So we're going to import this secondly. Now you can do them all together if you want. I'm just breaking this down as simple as possible. And if you follow this, you'll have no issues. So we're going to import all this. You can see AC Milan going in. You can see Juventus going in. And the lads are continuing to work on so many different classic teams. We are actually going to be opening up a section on the site for members uh, where you're going to be able to request not just teams, but also leagues for the main option file. But again, that's another day's, another day's discussion. But for the classic teams requests, we're going to be actually opening that up soon for members as well. So it should be fairly interesting to see something like that happen when you guys are actually deciding what teams get made. So as you can see here in the bottom, you'll see that there is one fake team. Now, the reason for this is because we're going to be adding more teams to the Classic Premier League to fill it out. So at the moment, you have got 18 teams there. We're going to actually be filling this out to 20. And obviously for the other Classic League, we're going to obviously be filling that out as well. So in the end, we're going to be keep filling up this with Premier League uh, teams. And we're also going to be filling it up with Classic League teams. As you can see there, you know, there's different teams to add. I know the boys are working on Ajax, um, PSV, PSG. There's a different couple of teams coming. So... As of right now, you're going to have two fake teams. You're going to have one fake team in the Premier League and you're going to have one fake team in the Classic League, this Classic League proper here with AC Milan, Arsenal, Bayern Munich, uh, Barcelona or whatever. The Classic Premier League is just Premier League teams, obviously, fairly self-explanatory. So that is pretty much it, lads. As you can see, there is a load of new legends, in including the absolute horse of a man, the beast himself, Adriano. Adriano, who's going to be rocketing them in with unbelievable kick and power. He's going to break his foot or else break the goalkeeper's hands, one or the other. So that's pretty much it, lads. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I will talk to you later. Huge props to all the boys doing the editing. It is unbelievable work for the Classic V2. I've been the Midnight Kid. Peace.